What are some of the great rewards in history? In football, it's playing in the Super Bowl and winning that trophy. In college, it would be the national championship. In hockey, the Stanley Cup is the greatest reward you can get. Baseball, it's the World Series. We just saw a fantastic World Series. College football, it's the Heisman Trophy. Everybody wants to win that reward. What are some of your award rewards? For us, how about credit card rewards? That's a big thing right now if you can get some credit card rewards. So we're going to talk a little bit about rewards today. We're in Galatians chapter 3, verses 10 to 14. This is fascinating because what Paul talks about, look at verse 10. For as many as are of the works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law to perform them. That's what Paul's talking about. He's talking about the difference between law and grace. And I want to use an illustration to kind of explain that to you today. So we have a road that's right outside the doors of our church here. It's called Maumel Boulevard. And Maumel Boulevard is an interesting place to drive down because sometimes it can be really busy and you can sit there like it's a parking lot. And sometimes you can go down Maumel Boulevard at 45 and 50 miles an hour and get a long ways. So here's the problem with it. After you've sat there for a long time and now you're stuck in traffic, Then you get back into a place where you can go fast. You really want to go fast. I've even probably run a couple of at least yellow lights in my time. So here's the question. If I run a light, what's going to happen to me? I'm going to get a ticket. All right, but what happens if I go 30 or 40 years and I never do anything wrong on Maumel Boulevard? Do you think that the Maumel police are going to show up at my door and give me an award? They're not. You see, there are no awards for following the law. That's what Paul is talking about in Galatians chapter 3, 10 to 14. There are no awards for following the law. The law does not give rewards. It only penalizes there's not going to be any Maumel policeman showing up at my door giving me a ward for following the rules of Maumel Boulevard. What Paul talks about in verse 11 is that we can be justified by faith. Now that no one is justified by the law before God is evident, for the righteous man shall live by faith. Abraham in in verse 6 of chapter 3 was not saved through the law. It says he was saved by faith. Habakkuk 2.4 is a quote of this verse right here. The righteous shall live by faith. It's always been by faith that we're saved, never by the law. Verse 13 says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. That little word redeemed means to buy someone out of the marketplace. It's a compound word. But out of the marketplace, Jesus decided to pay the price for sin. And then in verse 14, it says, In order that Christ and the blessings of Abraham might come to the Gentiles so that we receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So not through the law, but through faith we can gain the blessing. Two blessings. One, the blessing of Abraham. The blessing of Abraham is the promise that the Gentiles can enjoy the blessings of Abraham. The second blessing is this, the blessing of the Holy Spirit promised to believers forever. That's what Paul's talking about here. The law penalizes, grace redeems. That is what we call substitutionary atonement. I have that written right in my Bible next to verse 13. There was a substitutionary sacrifice made for me. Someone paid the price for me, and it was my Savior, Jesus Christ. So the Maumel Police Department shows up at my door, and they have all kinds of infractions that I've made over the 20 years. And I've got to pay a price. And somebody comes up and says, I'll pay that price for him. That's the redemption that Paul talks about in Galatians chapter 3. Christ said, I'll pay. And if you want to come to faith in Christ, you can be redeemed out of the marketplace 
by our relationship with him. Have a great day.